Alright guys, what's up? Today I'm doing an unboxing video of the DIY PC, whatever, BJ03BK. Cool. Uh, as you can see, here's the packaging. It just came with the styrofoam and that was wrapped in some paper, which is in there. Not paper, but some plastic. Alright, um, here's the front. So that's what it looks like. Um, the sides are, they don't have like thumb screws in them, so you have to use these little ones. And that was, eh, it's alright. Anyway, let's open it up, check it out on the inside. Okay, here we go. Comes with a 120 millimeter fan, that's nice. Bag of goodies. All the set screws are in place, that's good. This is my first time actually looking at it, so I'm learning just as well. There is a small... Like I can fit my finger through here. That's not very sturdy on the other side, so it looks like when your power supply is up here You can feed the cords in through here, and then it looks like you can feed them out through here and or what some Some nice clean clean looking PC stuff, okay? Nice and this looks I'm going to put the CD drive. I don't know. I don't think, ah, those won't get in the way. Hopefully not. Anyway. Here's the front of the PC. Doesn't look like there's any way to get airflow. Yeah, that is that is solid. And there's no venting on the sides. Oh, wait. Nope. There's no, no holes there. Wow. So you really just expect to get air in through putting fans on here and that guy. I think I have an extra fan lying around. I may throw it on there. Um. Oh wait, can we put a fan here? Maybe. No, that's for SSD. <laughs> I'm a genius. Anyway, um, that's what this looks like. Now let us. Uh, I'm going to be transferring all the computer parts from that that PC just into a new case. This one just looked a lot nicer, and it's on an old HP one, so. I'm going to go ahead and put that PC in here, and then I'll show you what it looks like with a computer in it. <clears throat> All right, so as I'm working on uh, putting cable management and stuff, I noticed that there was this slot where you can put like the, all the USB and the power switch and all that stuff. You can actually feed it through the back end and bring it up or bring it towards the motherboard that way instead of having it drop down. So I thought that was pretty useful. So hopefully the door will be able to close with all this pressed against it. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be tough. But anyway, all right. going back in. All right, so here it is with everything put in it. All the wires are, you know, hidden back there and or cables. All of them fit in the back, no problem. I was really surprised with that. It helps that there was this uh, this little bump right back here because all the wires are right in there. Uh, while putting everything together, the case seems really flimsy, but it is a $20 case, so I guess that's expected. I don't know, but uh, sometimes I thought I was going to bend the aluminum, so. Uh, what else? I don't know. So, yep, there it is. Everything fits in there nice and, nice and snug. Uh and yeah. So that front too. Woo, look at that. So pretty. So yeah. So this is that the DIY PC build. Um hopefully it turns on. It should. And there's the old case. What? So yeah. Um oh yeah, my bad. Another one of the problems if you have a long graphics card, you kinda gotta put it in at like an angle, kinda like in and then then put it in the PCI slot, but that's no biggie. Um, also, they did give you a bracket that you can screw in to the top. Oh, which is another thing I didn't like about this case. This doesn't. Oh wait, it might it might come off. I don't know. Oh, it does come off. Whatever. I didn't care. I was. I just did it through. I just stuck my screwdriver through here and tightened them that way. It was really lazy. I guess that does come off. I can see it. Uh, oh, well. Don't care about it. So, yeah. There you go.
There's my uh, new computer case with the uh, old PC in it. Yeah.